This is Jamie Petroviak and I run a website called MachineToolHelp.com and what I'm going to show you is a uh, device that can be used to test proximity switches and um, I guess I'll start by showing you how how to operate it. Um, it simply has a battery inside and um, three wires. You can connect a three wire switch, two wire switch. Um, we will start by connecting a three wire switch. Uh, most proximity switches um, basically wired to a standard color code. Um, for the plus we're going to hook up the brown wire. For the minus we're going to hook up the blue wire. And for the signal wire um, we're going to hook up the black wire. Occasionally on switches, the black wire could be um, a nine, normally open, um, white wire could be normally closed, and uh, once we have these wires hooked up, notice I have a low battery light, PNP or NPN. Here's the proc switch, and what we're going to do is I'll just use a plain old quarter here to test it. Okay, it tells us what kind of switch it is, NPN. Notice the LED on the proc switch is lighting up. <coughs> and uh, a couple things you can do. Um, if you want to, in some applications, you need a larger sensing distance. Um, you can either look up the part number on the internet to find out what it is, or in this case, I can just use a quarter and just bring it in slowly. And therefore, you can see how close you need to have the switch mounted. Um, to the dog or whatever it's picking up. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put on an NPN switch real quick here. Um, Wiring is going to be the same. And what I'm going to do is just plug it into another switch here. Notice as soon as I hook up the switch, the I.O. green LED comes on. And then same thing here. This one has a lot bigger sensing distance, as you can see. And this is a PNP switch. Again, there's LED on the back. A lot of times when switches fail, the LED will come on, but you would not see the, the PNP or the NPN out come on. Let's just say the, the contact within the switch failed. To simulate that, I'd basically remove the black wire. And notice nothing happens. Um, the LED comes on but the input wouldn't be made. That would tell me one of two things. Either the cable coming up to the switch is bad or the physical switch is bad. So you could test this from uh, way back in electrical cabinet if you wanted to, um, but you'd have to find the exact wires. <coughs> um, but that's basically how you, how you test out the switches and how you use the tester. Um, Sometimes coolant gets in the switches um, and can be an intermittent type switch depending on uh, the environment it's in. Um, sometimes you could take a switch and I'll put this wire back on here. Sometimes you can take a switch, you could turn it upside down. It might work. You could put it on its side. It, it might not work. Um, so you could check multiple positions as well. And that's basically how to use this proximity switch tester. Um, this is available from the uh, CNC Specialty Store, um, cncspecialtystore.com, if you'd like to, to find out more. Um, otherwise, we have a great help forum at machinetoolhelp.com. Check it out.